Every time I start a new project and go to the shelf and pick up this, I make a little dance and say once and again that you should make one, that why is it that you don't have one, and it is because it's really useful to have. It's a basic block or pattern, and what it means is that you have your own measurements on paper in 2D. And this is really useful because from that you can trace anything, add darts or not, or make it looser or tighter, and make anything from it. Any garment you buy it already made or any pattern you buy to make your own clothes comes under a universal sort of uh, sizes. And this means that maybe it's not completely proportional to your body. So that's the cool thing about sewing, that you can create stuff that fits you perfectly and it's the best thing ever. But lately I've noticed, and I've noticed on the scales as well, that I've lost weight. So this one that I made a few, I don't know when I made it, last year, uh, it's a bit loose now. And I've been trying to make it fit and then I have to make alterations to things I've made. So I'm going to make a new one. So let's measure ourselves. There's a few measurements we have to take, but don't be afraid. It's nothing to be afraid of. And of course, do it in front of a mirror if you don't have anyone to help you with. Because it happened to me once that when I was taking my measurements, I did this. So I took the measurement three centimeters longer than I needed. So I was mm, like two hours trying to fix it. I didn't know what happened. And then I realized. So just use the mirror. I also have a video about how to measure yourself in case you have a look at it and I'll link it down below in the description box. We are going to need the front height of your bodies and you have to take into account you have to go on top of your bust area. And the same with the back. From your neck down to your waistline. And if you're not sure where your waistline is, it is like two fingers on top of your belly button. But if you're not sure, you can do a little dance. And where you, where you feel your body pleats, that's where your waistline is. And you can even tie a little ribbon to make sure you don't miss it. Then you're going to need your bust contour, of course. The measurement from shoulder to shoulder, right where your bone is. And of course, the width from your neck to your shoulder. And in order to trace the armhole area, we're going to need two measurements that are not very common. And it is the cross back line, which is just on top of your bust, like this, right underneath your armhole. And then the armhole line. For the armhole line, you're going to need to divide your back measurement by two and add one centimeter. And then this measurement, this new measurement, we are going to trace from the waistline, not from the neck. And then in between those lines, we are going to be able to trace the curve that is the armhole one. And then as well, the armhole height because with this measurement, with this point, we are going to place the cross back line. And of course, we have to measure where the bust lands from the shoulder to the bust to be able to place that uh, bust measurement. And then you're going to need the measurement in between your nipples from bust to bust. This is because something that is 2D, like fabric, something flat, needs to become curvy and adapt to your body. So the darts make this possible and they are going to come from the highest point on your body, which is your bust. So from there you can trace darts down to the side, French stars, down to the waistline or even to the neckline. And I'm not going to take the measurement of my waist because I'm not going to need it, because we are going to make it uh, dart friendly. We are going to go down straight from the bust. But if you prefer the other method, it's as well useful. I've used this one like this. You see it comes down on a diagonal. 
I've used it for a long time, it's also useful, but you don't have the darts mm, possible there. And for that one, you will need your waistline and then divide it by two, like we're going to do now on paper. When you start tracing this on paper, you have no problem tracing the height, but then when you're going to trace uh, the width, you have to divide your contour, your bus contour, by two. Why is this? Because, well, we're doing two uh, different blocks, the front and the back. And for the front, we're going to measure half our bus contour plus two centimeters. And those two centimeters are the ones we are going to uh, take off the back one because of course the front has more volume than the back and of course don't forget to trace the middle bit because this vertical line is going to divide uh, the block in two and you're going to need it to be able to trace from bust to bust and of course from armhole to armhole Starting with the front block, once you have your length and width figured out, there's no particular order to follow and I started adding my bust height. Then I added the cross back line and the armhole line and in between these two it's quite important because it's where you're going to trace the curve of the armhole. Then I decided to add the center line because I needed to add the measurement between the bust and the armholes. And this line is also really helpful because from there, dividing it by two, you can add the measurement between your shoulders and once you have that, you can add your shoulder width. And to finish this, I lowered the neckline by four centimeters and the shoulders by three. And I use my French curve to draw all the neckline and the armhole area and it's really useful, especially designed for this and all the little curves you need to add for sleeves, trousers and even skirts. But if you don't have one, you can trace it even from a plate, but making it very, very smooth. And once you cut it, you can take advantage of this first block and use it to trace the back one with a few alterations, of course. The difference in length can be easily changed from the waistline by taking off those few centimeters from the shoulder. And after tracing the center line, you can easily change the width by dividing it and taking off those few centimeters, taking into account the two you added to the front. The cross back line and the armhole line are the same, so then you can trace the armhole area without any problem. And the neckline can only be lowered by one centimeter this time, the same as the shoulders. And of course, now I'm going to wrap it in this vinyl uh, so it lasts a bit longer. And you can also make it in cardboard or even in some of these uh, rubbery materials you use in crafts. And this is another use for my pattern weight to get rid of all the uh, bubbles in the plastic wrap. Look, 
amazing and they take all the light off me. So I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to tell me anything right or wrong I've done and you can even make it a bit simpler if you instead of doing all this measurement you just do your bust contour and your waistline contour divided by two it's not as accurate but it's uh, useful as well and if you don't have one of these uh, french curves to trace the armhole and the neckline just make some dots and uh, join them like when we were children and it'll be okay, it'll be fine. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to say anything you want in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I would love you to. And that way you don't miss anything next week. Bye.